According to the United States Department of Commerce, over 96% of all Americans use some sort of technology in their everyday lives. Technology is a beautiful thing. It can help us make connections, forge friendships, solve issues, and fix controversies. The problem is we need more people that can get into the nooks and crannies of everything. There are not many people that know how to do all of that. If we have more of that, the world can change. The world can be a great place. And these classes can help with that tremendously. Mr. White's tech classes at Avonworth High School educate students about important engineering and technology skills that will ultimately support them in careers and later classes in tech. So first question, what will the students learn to do? Uh, the students are going to learn how to really use Inventor and create, uh, start from an idea, create sketches, create a detailed drawing in the end, and then obviously the final goal is to try to produce a prototype of what they created. How long is this class lasting? Uh, then tech ed is going to be traditional at the uh, semester basically. Why would a student want to take this class? Uh, then obviously tech ed, I recommend it because if you like a hands-on class, you know, it's definitely a class for you. It's fun. It builds up. How will be beneficial and what can the students take away from the class? The way I always tell my students and other people, you know, someday you're going to own a house. Uh, so being able to use a tool uh, or a machine, it comes in handy. So taking tech in class is also a good option. How do classes Tech 1 and 2 differ? Uh, tech 1 is an introduction to basically anything you can do in Tech Ed. Uh, tech Ed 2 is typically more based around manufacturing. So we're going to learn about uh, the router a little bit more. Uh, just general manufacturing stuff, build bigger pieces of furniture. What was your favorite part of Tech Ed? Um, so far, probably using Inventor to print out three-dimensional objects. What have you printed out so far, or what are you planning to print out? Um, a phone case with like a place to hold post notes and pens. If you could take this class again, would you and why? Um, yes, I would take this class again because if I was to start a big project such as like, I know someone right now is building a desk, they took the class again so that they could finish the project. How can you use this information in your everyday life? Well, if you want to be a mathematician or an engineer or an architect, you could use that for a good fundamental. What was your favorite part of the class? I think my favorite part is that it's pretty lenient in what we get to do, so we get to design our own things and just whatever we can use for ourselves that's useful in our own house. If you could take this class again, would you and why? I would definitely take it again. I already am taking it again because I had it last semester and probably again just because it's pretty lenient and it's a nice class and you get to make stuff out of wood and you don't have to buy it and you get to make it yourself, so it's a pretty good deal. How can you use this information from the class in your real life? Um, probably just now I know how to use a lot of different tools and it's helpful to know how to make all these different things in the future so that will definitely be helpful. How long is this class lasting? Uh, the engineering class that we're going to be starting new next year is going to be a year long class. Why would a student want to take this class? Uh, for the Introduction to Engineering class, uh, pretty simple. If you want to become an engineer, I'd highly recommend taking the class. You're going to find out whether or not you want to pursue that as a career or not. Uh, and also you get the, the opportunity to get three credits, uh, three college credits for free at the end of the class. How will be beneficial and what can the students take away from the class? Um, obviously in the Introduction to Engineering class, you're going to be, be learning uh, what an engineer would need to, need to do for a job. Uh, so that's going to give you a pretty good idea right off the bat if that's something you want to do or not with your, with your career. Regarding Mr. White's new Intro to Engineering course, would you take this class and why? Yes, I would like to take this class. It would provide a basis for my possible future career in engineering and would really get me a jump start before my, before my college. How do you think that en Intro to Engineering will benefit your future? Well, it would give me a basis of what engineering would be like in my future career. Well, I'd be able to create a lot of things for, for a company, which, I, which I'd be paid quite well for. And I guess it would be able, I'd be able to do what, do what I'd love to do, to do most. And also, it would also provide me a lot more, 
provide me some college credits to, to graduate. According to Dean Kamen, American entrepreneur and inventor, if we can put engineering, science, and technology into a format of healthy, fun competition, we can attract all sorts of kids that might not see the kind of activity we do as accessible or rewarding. Mr. White's tech and intro to engineering courses provide students with an enjoyable atmosphere and it also allows students to not only have fun, but they also learn about technology at the same time. As a result of taking these tech courses, students are preparing themselves for careers and later studies in the tech fields.